in simple terms core pulmonary is heart disease secondary to lung disease which causes pulmonary hypertension it is associated with right ventricular hypertrophy and or dilatation which eventually leads to right heart failure chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is the most common cause of core pulmonary mainly because of its frequency but more severe pulmonary hypertension may be noted in interstitial lung disease with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis acute core pulmonary usually occurs in the setting of acute pulmonary embolism acute exacerbation of copd may also be associated with severe alveolar hypoxia leading to sudden rise in pulmonary arterial pressures and right heart failure as hypoxia is the most important cause of pulmonary hypertension in this setting the natural treatment is with oxygen which is a potent pulmonary vasodilator home oxygen therapy with either a conventional oxygen cylinder or an oxygen concentrator which derives oxygen from room air has been in use for reducing pulmonary arterial hypertension other alternatives for controlling pulmonary hypertension are prostacycline endothelin receptor antagonists phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitors and nitric oxide we need good quality randomized control trials to establish the long term utility and safety of these drugs in the setting of chronic core pulmonary nitric oxide is given as inhalation in the acute care setting especially in newborns acute core pulmonary due to acute pulmonary embolism responds to thrombolytic therapy as well as anticoagulation rheolytic thrombolysis is another option for acute pulmonary embolism surgical pulmonary thromboendarterectomy is useful in certain cases even for chronic recurrent pulmonary embolism with severe pulmonary hypertension and right heart failure long term anticoagulation and inferior vena cava filters are useful in chronic recurrent pulmonary embolism causing core pulmonary systemic therapy is needed in connective tissue disorders causing pulmonary hypertension